2-2 pitch. It's hit sharply into right field. That'll score a run. It's retriever strike first. Into Krasar at first. A swing and a miss for Sorrentino as he goes down. On this 0-2, and that'll be strike three. Got caught looking as Luke Johnson able to hit the inside part of the, the 0-2 pitch. Swing up the middle. Chance for a double play. Four, and the throw is high. And that'll be an error. But the Cougars do get one out. 49 pitches. As that one's hit hard in the left field, and it's going to get down. Another retriever is going to come around and score. And it'll make it 3-1, to one, UMBC. 1-2 pitch, high fastball. And had a walk because that one's hammered into right center field. That one's a gapper. They're on the run, and Sorrentino not able to come up with it. One run will score, potentially two runs. They hit the cutoff, man. It's going to be a play at the plate, and it's safe and two runs. That's a two-run double. That's Tony Krieger. Got one hit up the middle. That'll get through. Another run. We'll cross the plate for the Retrievers, and it's now Harlan. Swings, hits it, unfortunately, right at the second baseman. A 4-3 double play. Jeez, oh, we, you couldn't defend that one any better. In. Fourth run, the pitch. He serves it into left field. Is it over the head of the runner? And it, mm, Did he catch it? He did. Brink on the... Curveball hit into right field. One run will score. A solo home run, which is run number two. This time he'll tap it to shortstop, and the 6-4 play will end the inning. 2-2 pitch, swung and missed. Just not the Cougar. Charleston trail 7-3, and that's a hit, but unfortunately a slow dribble right to the shortstop. Six. Four, three, and he beats it out, and another run will cross as JT Marr will score. And then they're going to tag him out. He called him initially safe. We'll take a look at the replay here. Chad Holbrook looking for an explanation. Did he make a turn in? The initial call was 